Here's a quick tip for InDesign CS5 on how to duplicate content but using a new feature, which is really pretty cool. So if I take, let's say I've got a picture out here and I select it with the selection tool in InDesign CS5 and I hold down my Alt or Option to be able to drag a copy off, that's great. We could do that in the past. Now as I'm dragging here, you'll notice I can let go of the key and I'm still copying it. But here's something new. If I use my arrow keys, let's say I drag it down here, I want to create a grid of images out here. If I click and drag to the corner, let's say I press my up arrow, I can add, if you guys take a look, add another one in the middle there. If I were to let go right now, I'd have three across there, which is pretty cool. All right, let me undo that. Option or Alt drag again to copy. Up arrow, right arrow, you can actually increase the number of columns and rows here. And you got to be careful, you guys, because they're going to kind of overlap. It's, key, it's keeping the same distance or the same space between each one. So it's just distributing the space. If I keep going here, up arrow, right arrow, I can make as many as I want. So I can make a nice little grid here, get it where I want it. If I use my down arrow or left arrow, I can up, increase or decrease, you know. And in this case, I'm decreasing the number of rows and number of columns. So up arrow, right arrow, let go of my mouse, I'm done. Nice, quick, easy way when you guys are actually duplicating to be able to create a grid or be able to create a bunch of different things out there to get it done pretty quickly. So like I said, really quick tip, but I think it fi I find it to be really, really useful.